I am Dr. Rajan, Associate Professor in the School of Biological Sciences and the Suwari Institute of Marine Science from the University of Hong Kong. I am working on the climate change impact on oyster aquaculture and oyster aquaculture industries. Oysters are an important indicator of climate change. Hong Kong is the only place in the world is having its own endemic species of oyster that's called Crassostia Hong Kong Genesis which has been grown in deep bay over the past 700 years. So we have a great history, cultural history, social history, which is very much into Hong Kong. Now this oyster industry is declining, especially in the past 100 years and 50 years because of the pollution and climate change issues associated with these regions. I'm looking at how oyster industry is going to survive or adapt their technology while our climate is changing, our environment is changing, and as well as social culture is changing along with the climate. We are now in Deep Bay, um, just off of Lao Fushan and China. And uh, we are collecting the samples in different oyster rafts. Uh, collecting the oyster meat samples and also the water sample for E. coli and heavy metal checking experiments. The pH reading is like 7.98, and which is very good, and the temperature is like 20.8 degrees Celsius, which is uh, also quite normal. Hong at the beginning, uh, the oyster farmer were quite reluctant to change. They just got used to what they have. But uh, with uh, this project and with Hong Kong youth effort, actually um, the oyster farmer, they are learning the technique bit by bit. And they are now have more confidence that they can change in a manner that their industry can be a sustainable one. So this is the Hong Kong oyster from Dao Fushan Oyster Raft. I'm going to open the oyster and to take the meat for the bacteria experiment. There are a couple of issues um, in La Fushan and the oyster aquaculture. One is the bacterial contamination, which can be easily dealt with if the oyster growers adapt depuration system in their business. Second thing is heavy metal. The heavy metal can be dealt with if we can monitor heavy metals in oysters and tell the public this is the threshold level and this is uh, suitable for consumption or not. We are looking for a couple of technologies which is currently not available. We are developing hatchery technology that grow the oyster babies in the controlled conditions. And second one is the depuration. It's basically removing the bacteria, bad bacteria from the oyster before it goes into the market. This is the UV light, treated water. So the water coming from there? Yes. And then going and down here? Going down here okay. and circulate it. Okay. And then goes out from the pump. Uh, basically it comes back here. Hong Kong U uh, is definitely a good partner for ASDD. Actually we have been setting up a good relationship with uh, Hong Kong U for quite a long time. This separation project is one of the examples. 香港行業我覺得是很有錢的 We hope that with using this separation system uh, we are lowering the microbial count in the oyster and improving the food uh, safety and uh, security issue. We hope that the public can gain confidence that the uh, local oyster is safe to eat. With this, if there is increasing demand, we believe that the industry can be sustainable in the long run.